Do women have it easier on YouTube? Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with a video response to my friends uh, Jake Knowlton and Zach from the Phoenix 787 channel. And uh, I'll put a link below in the uh, description to uh, their videos that I'm responding to. So today I'm going to be talking about a subject that has kind of uh, been creeping around the internet for a while now, and that is, do women have it easier on YouTube? Or just the internet in general, but we'll just kind of narrow it down to YouTube for the sake of this video. I'll just throw my own two cents into the whole thing. I know in a couple of my videos I may, might have uh, mentioned or said that uh, women seem to have it a lot easier than men as far as getting subscribers and stuff like that. You know, a lot of those comments were like, oh, they just started up their channel like three months ago and they already got like 10,000 subscribers. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I've been doing this for a while and I only have, you know, at 1600, something like that, I don't know. A lot of those comments were just, honestly, just kind of out of jealousy. And I do apologize if uh, if I offended anyone with saying that, you know, because I've been doing this thing for a while now, and, you know, I've worked very hard at making the videos that I do, and all the uh, marketing, and sharing stuff on social media, and just all the behind the scenes stuff that's involved with making videos, making blog posts, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into it. And to see somebody else kind of come up it's kind of like, you know, the young dog getting more attention than the old dog sort of thing. So it's it's not even really a sexist thing. It's just the new trying to surpass the old and just kind of like, you know, it ain't like it used to be kind of deal. Again, apologies to anybody if I offended them by my offhand remarks. I got a little jealous. What can I say? Fucking human. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just to get back on the subject of do women have it easier on YouTube? Um, I think they just have it different than men do, especially the uh, the fair of the fair sex. <laughs> it's kind of like in life, really. It's all about, you know, body image and stuff like that. Obviously, a lot of the more attractive people are going to get a lot of attention, and, you know, they're going to get a lot of subscribers initially just because they're cute looking. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't really care what they have to say, and they'll just sub because, hey, she's kind of cute. I wonder what she's about. Looks can only get you so far. I mean, if you really have nothing to say, then your value just kind of declines after a while. You have to bring a little, little something more to the table than just good looks. And, you know, there's a lot of women out there on YouTube that do that. They're, they're basically the, uh, the total package, you know. They look good, and, you know, their setup on YouTube is good. They talk about a lot of hard-hitting stuff. They put a lot of, lot of effort into their videos, you know. I can think of three off the top of my head, you know, Sharla from Charlotte in Japan, you know, Rachel and June, uh, Grayson Ryosuke from Texan Tokyo. They're the total package, really, you know, they put a lot of effort, and especially in, like, subtitling their videos in Japanese. I think that that alone is just, like, kind of for me because, you know, my Japanese skills aren't quite as good as theirs. You know, to me, that's just kind of, like, wow, <laughs> you know? but you know that's just me but yeah a lot of these people do get you know a lot of subscribers at least for an initial push but you know with success comes haters of course so yeah it may appear that they're all successful on the outside with all these subscribers and you know a lot of people sharing the videos and all that, all that kind of stuff but um, they do tend to generally uh, get a lot of haters as well. With success comes a price. So it's not all gumdrops and rainbows, you know, being successful on YouTube. And again, with the whole body image thing, and this is gonna get kind of real here, but uh, when I decided to stop doing the whole NFAX thing, you know, the reason that I, I did tell you guys was that um, well, I was gonna get kind of sick and tired of the whole what's boot camp like questions. And, and that was kind of part of it, you know, I kind of felt burn out by the whole thing. But uh, another reason was I noticed in a lot of my uh, NFAX and Navy videos, I would get a lot, a lot of hateful comments. A lot of hateful comments, you know, like, you fat fuck, go die in a fucking fire. Fuck you, kill yourself. You know, just usual troll shit. And most of the time I can just kind of ignore it. But it just kind of got to the point where I just wasn't having fun making those types of videos because it would bring in that negative audience. You know, and of course there was a lot of supporters too, and I gotta thank you guys for that. But, you know, the, the bad was starting to outweigh the good as far as those videos go. I just kind of reached a point where it just wasn't fun for me to do it anymore, so I stopped and focused on other things that are 
you know, bring in a much more positive audience like you guys, and uh, just kind of moved on from there. I'm assuming that a lot of uh, a lot of teeny bopper girls, you know, like to subscribe to the uh, attractive male YouTube stars. So it's not just women, you know, it's mostly about body image, I guess. So if you're an attractive person, male or female, you'll get a lot of uh, initial subscribers and stuff like that, but you do have to bring something to the table, you know, if you want to succeed on YouTube long term. Otherwise, it would just be a flash in a pan, hey, who's that cute guy or girl that was on YouTube for like a minute, and then people kind of tuned out because they really didn't have anything to say. It's, it's basically like the Reply Girls. You guys remember the, the uh, Reply Girls? You know, they got a lot of views back in the day because well, they were mostly attractive women who uh, would make like a little less than a minute video, maybe talking about something or just kind of like, uh, hey, this is the video, do the thing with the stuff, and then like a minute would go by and then would stop. <laughs> so, you know, that fad, I mean, initially they got a lot of views because hey, they were attractive, but that fad eventually petered out with the redoing of YouTube code, you know, favoring minutes watched versus views being more favored in the search results, but also, the fad had kind of run its course at that point. You know, YouTube changing the code was just kind of the final nail in the coffin for it, really. Just goes to show, you know, you gotta bring steak with your sizzle. And just to close out the video, if I did offend anybody by my offhand comments about, you know, that kind of stuff, I do apologize. Uh, I think that about wraps up for this video. So yeah, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys, Poop, for tuning into this video, like I said, and uh, for watching my other stuff. And uh, if you guys have uh, any thoughts about the whole issue, you know, feel free to leave a little something, something in the comments below in the booby de boob or uh, send in a video response. I'd uh, love to hear what you guys have to say on the matter. I also want to thank you guys for liking, with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.